Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to draw a plot with confidence intervals in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data and we can have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object and then you can see that we have created a data frame consisting of four columns and ten rows whereby the first two columns x and y contain numeric values and the third and fourth columns contain our lower and upper confidence intervals corresponding to these values. So if we want to draw these data in a plot with confidence intervals. Then we can apply the functions of the ggplot2 package. And in order to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 11 to 13. So in line 11 of the code, I'm specifying the ggplot function. And within the ggplot function, I'm specifying the name of our data frame. And in the aesthetics, the two columns that are containing our values. So in this case, x and y. Then I'm specifying in line 12 that I want to draw a scatter plot. And in line 13 of the code, I'm using the geom error bar function to specify our lower and upper confidence interval limits to the plot. So if you run lines 11 to 13 of the code, you can see that at the bottom right of RStudio, a new plot is created. And as you can see, this plot is showing our points that are stored in the columns X and Y. And to each of these points, we have added a confidence interval. So as you have seen in the first example, we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package to draw a plot with confidence intervals. However, I want to show you a second example, which is based on the Plotrix package, because the Plotrix package also provides functions to draw confidence intervals to a scatter plot. So in order to be able to use the functions of the Plotrix package, we first need to install and load the Plotrix package, as you can see in lines 15 and 16 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 16 of the code. And then we are able to use the function plot ci, which is provided by the Plotrix package. And within this function, we need to specify our x column, our y column, and the lower and upper confidence intervals. So if you run lines 18 to 21 of the code, you can see that another plot is created. And this plot is also showing our points with confidence intervals, but this time based on the Plotrix package. So in this video, I have shown you two examples on how to draw a graphic with confidence intervals in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.